Hello and welcome again to Inside Earthster, our series of short monthly videos in which we share with you updates about our product and how we're embedding the best LCA science into it. The last month we've been focusing on two main things, on usability and on comparison, so I'll give you a quick run through both. Uh, when it comes to usability, uh, we've added a number of functions uh, like these these menus here, so you can do more things with the with the app. But where it really shines is on uh, on the product view, like when I see the the life cycle of my product. If I open, for example, one of the drawers, you'll see that we've added extra information, and that's because uh, one of the of the feedback that we got from the pilots was that you wanted to be able to compare more accurately and to to rank and and look at the environmental impact. So that information was relevant. So now you can order by environmental impacts of any category. I'm going to order based on the impacts on climate change, for example, and you can uh, you can then see on the side here in, in gray the the different impacts the, the specific impact of those process and the total for production so you can see the relationship between those and if i come here and, and delete a value you see that it calculates in real time so it, it, i only have to i only click the number and it immediately calculates and, uh, and shows me the value so i can make, do very very quick iterations uh, i can see in real time what's uh, how that's affected my total impact in addition to that, we've also worked on comparisons. So I gave you a sneak peek before, but now if you click on compare, you'll see here the different comparisons that we have available. And I've created one that I called with industry average. Now you see here my product, the, the electric car and market for electric motor vehicle. And that process that, that I added is the echo invent uh, process for electric vehicles. So I'm, I want to compare myself with that process. And if I go to edit comparison, I have on the on the first section, I have the stages that I want to show. So I can say, well, the echo invent process doesn't have use or distribution. So I'm going to remove the use, remove the distribution, and then those two are comparable. And uh, and you see that my particular electric car has a little bit lower impact than the 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 one that echo invent has uh, has put forward. Uh, and how does it know what to compare with what? Because of course you could be comparing apples and oranges. Uh, that's because of this section here of cycles compared. So you have here, uh, it's loaded from my electric car, it's loaded the functional unit. And in this case, it's selected the, uh, the one in US dollars. But if I click on this drop down, I see the different functional units that I've added for my product. So uh, I could say number of cars or number of kilometers driven or number of years. And for a given car, the, I have equivalent values of those, but of course, if I compare two cars, those numbers may not be equivalent. Uh, so I need to uh, select based on those what would be com uh, comparable. In this case, I know that the car is uh, is a I've selected that it's a uh, hundred thousand uh, dollars, and then I'm comparing it to a ton and a half of kilos because Eco Invent uh, only gives me kilograms. Uh, so that's the that's the unit that I need to select. And when I click Add New Reference, here I can select any any type of um, any type of proce process. So I could put electric vehicle, and here I would I would get all the different electric vehicles. In this case, it's showing me the rest of the world or global, um, and I could add any of these, uh, and I can add more than one. So I could select several of them and add them to my comparison. Um, or I can, in this case, just go back. Uh, this way I can do more sophisticated comparisons in which I'm selecting different elements from the database. So I can pick from, at the moment, from Echo Invent and UCO, and soon also from Exio Base and several other uh, openly available databases. And, uh, and in addition to that, I can find there all my cycles. So I can go and select other cycles that I've modeled. I can model two electric cars, and I can pick, I can compare per kilometer for one kilometer how much is the impact for car A and car B. So it makes it very easy to run quick comparisons, uh, to keep standing comparisons, and I can go every now and then look and see uh, which one is the one performing better. And I can I can make claims like how much better or worse I am in comparison to, um, in comparison to that particular average. And, uh, and what's coming up next with, uh, uh, with Earthstorm in the, in the upcoming month, uh, We've been working uh, with uncertainty in the background. We've been working on how to you can focus your data. So in the next month, I'll be able to show you how to focus your data through databases, which is the common way to do an LCA, and how you will be able to focus your data 
by involving people in your supply chain. So stay tuned for those uh, for those features that you'll be able to see very soon. And um, as usual, thank you very much. If you have any questions, please do reach out uh, here in the comments at YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, or if not, you can go to our website, find us in any social media, and uh, please get in touch because this is a community effort. We want to be build the biggest database of product information, environmental product information, and, and uh, we want your feedback to make that the best database and the most useful database to you. So please reach out if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have uh, ideas on uh, on how we can make this, uh, this better. And uh, until then, until next month, if not earlier, uh, I, hope, I wish you all the best and see you soon. Cheers.